Hello, it is Mr. Choi. So in this video, I'll be going through the role of an iron core in the transformer. So here I have two diagrams. On the left, I have a transformer uh, without the iron core. And then on the right, I have one that is with the iron core. So I'll be using these two diagrams to illustrate to you why uh, an iron core is important to the transformer. So let's say I have uh, the transformer without the iron core. I can see that on the left, I have my primary coil. How do I know that this is a primary coil? Because it has a AC source over here. And this means that this would be my secondary coil because in the secondary coil, there is no AC power source. Uh, instead, it has a load. So down here, I have uh, added in a light bulb on both the primary coil and the secondary coil to illustrate to you how the induced EMF, uh, the size of the induced EMF uh, on each, across each of the coil. So if there is a strong EMF, the light bulb on the respective coil should light up. So let's begin. So let's say I turn on the primary coil here. What would happen is that uh, when the alternating current flows through the primary coil, uh, due to the shape of the solenoid, it will produce uh, a magnetic field that looks kind of like this. Right. So I can't draw it like uh, uh, that is perfectly aligned, but I will try my best. So remember when you draw your magnetic field line, don't be afraid to cut the components uh, because magnetic field line can penetrate uh, most objects, right? So I'm linking them up. Okay. So basically, I have a typical magnetic field pattern that looks like a butterfly. I'm not going to draw the arrows on the magnetic field because it is an alternating magnetic field line. Now, just by looking at this magnetic field line, you can see that only one of the loop cut across uh, the secondary coil. So meaning that uh, all the other field line, like let's say this one, this one, this one, and this one, they are not cutting through the secondary coil, meaning that the secondary coil cannot experience about 80 to 85% of the magnetic field uh, that is produced by the primary coil. So as a result, the secondary coil can only experience about 20% of the changing magnetic field produced by the primary coil. So because it is experiencing a very small rate of change of magnetic flux linking to the primary coil. By Faraday's law, the induced EMF in the secondary coil will be very weak. So because of that, this guy may be very dim or can't even turn off, right? So most of the uh, applied EMF will be used to lighten up the light bulb here. So as a result, the efficiency of energy transfer between the primary coil to the secondary coil here is going to be very low. However, if you add in an uh, iron core, uh, because the soft iron is a, a, a soft magnetic material, it will get magnetized very, very quickly. So once you turn on uh, this AC source, the magnetic field is going to go around and redirected by the iron core so that it will go towards the soft uh, so that it will go towards the secondary coil so even the line that is uh, on the side will follow the contour of this iron core and it will form into this very nice uh, rectangular magnetic field line pattern that is very uniform parallel and as a result strong so in this case, the secondary coil is going to experience almost 100% of the rate of change of magnetic flux linking to the primary coil. So as a result, you are going to get a rather strong induced EMF on the secondary coil. And as a result, this thing will light up 
and uh, of course the applied EMF due to conservation of energy if most of the energy is already transferred to the primary coil it will be slightly dimmer over here so the function of the soft iron core is actually to redirect oops let's say I copy this and I bring it up here right so the core function of the uh, iron core the main function of the iron core is to actually redirect and concentrate the magnetic field line from the primary coil to the secondary coil and the result of it is that you will have a higher efficiency in terms of uh, energy transfer between the primary and secondary coil.